Like any recipe, your compost relies on the right ingredients to make it work. But don't worry, it's quite simple. All you need to remember are the good things to compost are things like fruit waste, tea bags, vegetable scraps, plant prunings, a little bit of cardboard in there, and also grass cuttings. Things like your fruit and your veg and your grass cuttings and plant prunings are all called greens, quick to rot, and they release moisture and nitrogen. Other things you can compost include cardboard, fallen leaves, egg boxes, even scrunched up paper. These are considered browns and are slower to rot, providing fibre and carbon and also allowing important air pockets to form in your mixture. You can even add your old eggshells, in fact they add some really useful minerals into the mix. But don't just think you can add anything and everything into your compost. Some things should never be placed in your bin. No cooked vegetables, meat, dairy products, diseased plants and definitely no dog poo or cat litter or baby's nappies. Putting these in your bin can encourage unwanted pests and can also create odour. Just be careful with weeds. So things like thistles and dandelions you don't want to put in, or any weeds with seed heads really. But the grass in here and the nettles, they can go in. Oh no, that one can't go in because that's plastic. And plastic, metal and glass don't compost, do they? So that one can go in the recycling bin, all right? Yeah. Okay, good boy, well done. The key to good compost is getting the mix right. You need to get your greens and your browns perfectly balanced. So if your compost is looking a bit wet and soggy, what do you need to add? Browns. That's it. And if your compost is looking a bit dry, like this sand, what do you need to add then? Greens. That's it. You got it right. Well done. To keep your compost nice and healthy, what you need is lots of air in it. That's quite simple to achieve. You can do it with scrunched up bits of cardboard, just rip them off, scrunch them up and add it into the mix. Or you can use a fork or a broom handle or one of these special aerators to create deep air pockets down inside the compost. And if you do that, in six to nine months, your compost should be nice and healthy and ready for the garden.